back to another episode of <clears throat> book review. Today I'll be reviewing this book, Kung Pao Chicken, Heroes on the Side. I read this book for around um, five to six times already and I can say it's just not that good. I mean like the first time I read it I thought, oh, well this isn't, uh, this isn't the greatest and like it's not good nor is it bad, but uh, yeah. Anyway, the main character is uh, this guy, yeah, Kung Pao Chicken and his sidekick. <clears throat> and um, the whole plot of the book is that you know, they, they, uh, they fall in this toxic sludge and become superheroes and uh, drop, I guess. And, uh, and, and then with the help of their uncle, with the help of the uncle Quack, they, they save the city and the. Uh, now these are. No, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really like the main character. He's possibly one of the uh, the most worst characters of all time I have ever seen. And it's probably because I haven't read the first book. This is the third book in the in the uh, I don't know the, the series. There's like four of them, and then this is the, uh, the third one. I don't think you need to read them in chronological chronological order or something. I don't know. But basically, the whole plot of this book is uh, they fall in a toxic sludge, so become superheroes, and uh, they go to New York City. A bunch of chickens want to take over a bunch of chickens, and, uh, and the sidekick saves them, but Kung Pao Chicken still doesn't like his sidekick since he got an award. Yeah. And that's, that's the entire plot of this book. I don't even think I should explain it. It's just kind of bad like if, if you want to read it you know, yeah you can but uh, I don't really recommend it um, yeah mm. yeah so that's my rating for this book it's a 4 out of 10 it's not it's not good um, you can read it if, if you want like, I'm pretty sure you can speed run this book if you want but I, I won't this is just no, anyway, bye.